Uh, we talked about type A dissection yesterday. Um, it comes in uh, acute or chronic form. Uh, generally, the agreement is uh, about two weeks or so. So if it is less than two weeks, it's called acute. And if it is more than two weeks, it's called chronic. Uh, it is a surgical uh, condition that patient needs to come to the operating room uh, to prevent further catastrophe. Uh, the uh, type B dissection, you also heard about it, is less of an urgent situation in terms of surgery, but it is just as urgent for the patient to come to the hospital and get blood pressure treatment uh, because same patient with type B dissection is at grave risk of not making it if the blood pressure is high. But once their blood pressure has got, gotten under control, they have a great uh, opportunity to uh, uh, stay on the safe side. Some complicated type B dissections, first time they uh, present to the hospital, they come with paraplegia. And that's a very difficult complication uh, because as the descending aorta separates all those tiny little branches that feeds the spinal cord, they disrupt and blood supply to the cord uh, gets compromised. So as a result, a patient becomes paraplegic. Uh, just giving you all of that summarized on this slide, um, Dr. DeBakey died uh, last Saturday. So it is quite appropriate to mention uh, his name. He was the first one who actually uh, classified the DeBakey type 1 and 2, which is considered, considered Stanford type A, and DeBakey type 3, which is classified as a Stanford type B. So um, the reason we have gone to more simplified type A or B is uh, whenever a sending aorta is involved, this is considered type A because patient needs to go to the operating room. Uh, whenever there's a type B involved, uh, which is the simplest way to learn, is how is your ascending aorta? If your ascending aorta is good, that, that is a type B. People get confused about the arch. Well, you know, they don't know what to call it when they are, when a little bit of arch involved, when the whole arch is involved, maybe uh, uh, around the uh, innominate artery is involved. But the best way to learn is how is your ascending aorta? If it is good, then it is type B. If your ascending is involved, uh, it is a type A. Uh, I apologize for our little graphic pictures here, so you can just listen if you wish. Um, this is a uh, Marfan patient that uh, uh, was followed by uh, her local cardiologist, and of course they did a great job uh, following with the uh, echoes uh, uh, every year or so. However, that echo did not report anything about the aorta. And a valve was okay, heart function was okay, uh, but then this patient went on to dissect and came to us, and this is what we found. You can see the, uh, you can see the white shiny intima here, right here, and this is a suction that we put in the space between the outer layer here and uh, the inner layer. However, surprisingly, is when you look at this, you don't see a tear in this intima. So once we see such a thing, then we know tear is somewhere else. So and this particular patient, uh, tear was in the aortic arch. So we had to actually, uh, on circuitory arrest, confirm, and then resect that portion of the aortic arch that contained a uh, tear. Uh, uh, so uh, the other thing was happening in this particular patient was patient had a little bit of enlarged abdomen. So in uh, conjunction with the cardiologist that has been following with the uh, echocardiogram, this patient was followed by a vascular surgeon. Uh, and with a serial sonogram of the abdominal aorta, but uh, really uh, Marfan patients, it's very important to be followed on a yearly basis 
and know the exact size of their ascending aorta, which wasn't done in this patient for 10 years. This is probably one of the most Im important slides. This is a IRAT, aortic size distribution, which uh, presented in, in circulation in September of 2007. This is stands for International Registry for Aortic Dissection. You can see the majority of patients who dissected uh, in the world are below 5.4 centimeter. And uh, actually, 40% um, of all dissections are less than 5 centimeter. So here you can see that people do dissect at 2.9 centimeter. We had a petite woman who uh, dissected at 3.8 centimeter. You can see a fair number of patients in this registry dissected at 4 or 4.4.